Good morning. My name is Ryan Cohen. I'm one of the MIS Bariatric Surgery Fellows at UC Davis. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present our work today. Our disclosures are as follows. <clears throat> so while the surgical indications for biliary dyskinesia and symptomatic cholelithiasis are pretty well defined, hyperkinetic biliary dyskinesia is relatively unique and underrecognized. It's typically defined as a gallbladder ejection fraction of greater than 80% on HIDA scan. Over the past 20 years, studies have shown a symptom improvement rate of about 76 to 100%. Uh, we hypothesize that HBD is underrecognized due to a general lack of awareness among primary care doctors, uh, surgeons, as well as medical specialists. The aim of our study was to look at the prevalence and radiographic reporting of HBD, as well as referral patterns. Finally, we looked at clinical outcomes and risk factors to non-response to cholecystectomy. We performed a retrospective cohort study at our tertiary care hospital from 2002 to 2023. We looked at all HIDA scans during this time period and recorded the, uh, imp the radiographic impression and ejection fraction of each study. We also looked at what proportion of scans were read as normal versus hyperkinetic. Patients with gallstone disease were included only if they lacked any signs of cholecystitis on preoperative imaging. We collected demographic information, symptoms, referral patterns, and operative data. Our primary outcome was symptom improvement. Um, this was based on the predominant symptoms on preoperative and postoperative clinic notes. Finally, we performed a univariate analysis to find factors that were associated with improvement um, after cholecystectomy. So in total, we looked at over 3,000 HIDA scans. About 2,000 of these had a, uh, it had a reported EF on the impression. Um, 730 of these, or 36.6%, had an EF greater than or equal to 80%. Sorry, it looks like click isn't, there we go. Um, and only about 14% of these were read as abnormal or hyperkinetic. Uh, in total, 57 patients underwent cholecystectomy. So looking at the 730 patients with an EF greater than 80, uh, the proportion of cases read as hyperkinetic uh, drastically increased over time. Uh, kind of, we use the year 2020 as a cutoff point. So before 2020, it was about 1% after that year, drastically increased uh, to almost 60% um, in the time period afterwards. <clears throat> now looking at the 57 patients who underwent cholecystectomy, uh, PCPs were the most likely team to order HIDA scans. The HIDA impression in this group was uh, read as hyperkinetic only about 37% of the time. Interestingly, when the HIDA was read as hyperkinetic, uh, these patients were more likely to be seen by GI. Uh, PCPs were by far the most likely group to refer to surgery, um, and the median time to surgery was quite long at 146 days. Notably, there was no statistically significant difference between the uh, referring specialty group. Uh, so all patients, all 57 patients got preoperative imaging, the, the most uh, common of which was ultrasound. In terms of findings, 36% uh, had cholelithiasis and only 5% had son sonographic Murphy sign. In terms of pathologic findings, chronic cholecystitis was by far the most common finding at 83%. About 40% of these patients also had cholelithiasis and only 12% of patients had no signs of inflammation on final pathology. And then finally, in terms of clinical outcomes, 93% uh, of patients reported improved symptoms at a medium follow-up of 17 days. On univariate analysis, baseline factors such as age, sex, BMI, other factors such as co-commonant psych diagnoses, surgery status, uh, the presence of chol cholelithiasis and cholecystitis were not associated with uh, improved outcomes. Um, of note, patients with co-commonant GI diagnoses uh, or the presence of co-commonant GI diagnoses such as IBS and IBD uh, was associated with non-response to cholecystectomy. So in conclusion, hyperkinetic biliary dyskinesia is common but often underdiagnosed. Uh, we found it only in about 14% of patients in our study. With that said, there's been a drastic increase of late, especially since the year 2020. Uh, most patients benefit from surgery, upwards of 93% in our study. Uh, 
we, we do recommend that each patient be considered in a case-by-case -case basis uh, with a detailed review of symptomatology in order to set realistic expectations. I think this is especially true with, with patients who have concomitant GI diagnoses. Um, overall, awareness is needed. Radiologists must continue to be diligent about uh, calling out hyperkinetic uh, biliary dyskinesia. PCPs and GIs must make timely referrals, and uh, surgeons obviously must offer surgery where appropriate. Thank you. I'm happy to take any questions.